right, let's get out of here. Oh, that was an awesome spot. It's the place to be in the heat. Gotta have cool water to swim in. Well, we're coming up to the end of the road here. I guess I was only in about four, four and a half miles. All these yellow blooms on these trees here. Pretty. I'm gonna stop up at the Flying J, dump that trash, clean my windshield up good, and get on the highway. We going on the 10 into California, then we'll cut south. I think that's the 78 that's gonna take me to Holtville. Gosh, I can't believe that I was gonna park up on the other end away from the river. I would have just baked. Without being able to swim, that would have been miserable. Let's see, we gotta find a good trash can here. I'm all good on gas. Let's pull over to the end here. Look at that sidecar motorcycle. Cool. Okay, trash is dumped. Oh, I forgot to clean my windshield. I guess it's not horrible. Okay, away we go. The residential part of Holtville, never been through here. Got a little city park there. Nice little town. It's hot as heck out in the summer here though. Babe Ruth Park. A nice little city park there, plenty of grass, restrooms, nice. And this is downtown Holtville, I've been through this part before. Not a whole lot here. There's a few little markets, a few gas stations, a few little restaurants. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to get to the hot springs on my own. Should be able to. Gas is 289 there. Turn right there under the bridge to get to the BLM land. This is the long-term visitor area here to the left. This is the hot spring here. There is a vault toilet, some trash cans, so I'm going to take advantage of using the restroom here. Might go for a little soak. It's not horribly hot out today, so we'll check it out, see how it feels outside. All right, well, I went for a nice little soak. Uh, it actually got really windy all of a sudden. There's like dust storm activity happening. So it actually felt really good. I can't last too long in hot springs, it gets just too warm for me. But it really felt good for about five minutes. Able to rinse off this hot spring, it's concrete tubs, but they've got this pipe that sprays the water so you can rinse off outside of the tubs. So I always rinse off before I go in and then I rinse off when I get out because you know you're basically sharing a bath with other people. <laughs> and I'll go see if I can find a spot here on the BLM land. Still quite a uh, not a lot, but a few people over at the long term visitor area. BLM land is this way under the bridge. There's actually more long-term visitor area here. You have to pay for that. I don't know if it's patrolled often. You just go a little further on this canal road. Just some free camping. Wow, it is super windy. Fortunately, this area over here, it's all, you'll see, it's all like little, little hills, so I should have some shelter from the wind. 
This is just a big irrigation canal off of the Colorado River. All right, we'll check in when we get a little closer. Camping 14 day limit. This is where the free camping starts. Gotta come in for enough. Wow, look at how green these are compared to last time I was here. I always get lucky with this spot. Get me out of the wind a little bit. Perfect. Some shade on the side. Wow, the wind has gotten really strong and it's actually started to rain. So I'm just kind of, it's not raining super hard so I still got the door cracked a little bit because it is a little warm. It's in the high 70s so just uh, gonna kick back inside the van for a little bit I guess. And let this rain pass. Well, good thing about the rain is it's helping to keep the dust down. Although the wind has died a little bit, we're still getting some strong gusts, so we're not getting that dust blowing all around, but it uh, helped cool it off a little bit too, so not too bad. We'll just hang out. I got some work to do editing anyway, so I'll just hang out in the van, think about dinner here in a little bit. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Well, good morning. That wind did not die down last night. It cleared up, the rain went away, but the wind is still here. It's actually stronger than ever. Very strong constant wind, and then every now and then we just get these gusts that are intense. Blows sand right off this hillside and into the van. You can hear it kind of sandblast the van. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up. I've got about a two and a half hour drive into San Diego. So uh, that's, that's going to be my day today. I'll probably pull right in and visit some family right off. It'll be good to see them again. And I got to get pre prepared for this flight out to Florida. So yeah, this one is intense. Uh, it was really nice overnight here though, as far as just having a spot on BLM land. The soak in the hot, in the hot spring was awesome. So I'm actually thinking of doing that one more time on the way out, just doing a quick, maybe five minute soak. But uh, yeah, this, this one's intense. I got to get back in the van, get things packed up and get ready to pull out of here. Oh, I just pulled up at the bay here. Check out all these Volkswagen vans here, these camper vans. It's like a Westfalia meetup. Check it out. Pretty cool. It's like they're all kind of the uh, mid 80s models. Well, it does feel good to be back in San Diego. It's really neat to pull up and see all those Volkswagen vans parked there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to spend the next couple days here in San Diego visiting with friends and family, and then I've got to fly right out to Florida. I mentioned in my previous video that an exciting opportunity has come up. I'm going to take advantage of it. It involves me parking the van for a few days. It's going to be a very whirlwind experience. Uh, I'm only going to be there for a total of three days. Two of the days are travel days, so it's really just one full day to take part in this. And I'm going to do my best to film as much as I can, bring you guys along, share the experience with you. Of course, when it's all said and done, I'll be able to fill you in on the details, how it came about, and be able to show you what it was all about. Uh, but in the meantime, I really need to keep things kind of under wraps and private till it's all said and done. There's a strong possibility that I will not have a video up for Wednesday. I'm going to do my best to have something posted, but because of the nature of the timing of this event, it's very possible that I'll miss Wednesday's video. But I'll be definitely posting on Friday to bring you guys up to speed and share with you what this is all about. I do owe a lot of thanks to you viewers. This uh, opportunity would not have come up if it wasn't for you guys out there. So I really appreciate it. Everyone that's been following along since the beginning and all the people that have joined along the way. This has been a very exciting experience, uh, trying a new way of life, uh, living minimalistically, living on the road, taking seasonal jobs, and just trying to live a very simple, minimalistic life lifestyle and be able to travel and see new things, meet new people. So, so far it's been an amazing experience and it just seems like it keeps getting better and better. So I really appreciate all the support and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.